It is indeed a pleasure to invite one of the youngest brains of Manipur who has ample of potential to lead the state from the front. I take the opportunity to invite Malim Ganbi Lashram who has stopped the Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur 2024 in Science Stream. Welcome Malim Ganbi inside our studio. Thank you for having me here. Congratulations to you. Thank you. So Malim Ganbi, it is indeed my delight to talk to you. Uh, in a short period of time, we'll be covering several questions on how you managed to achieve this fiat. Uh, my first question to you would be, how happy are you right now? Right now, I'm very happy and I'm very proud of myself because I made my parents and my relatives and all my teachers have taught me and guided me. So who broke the news to you for the very first time? One of my teacher called me and uh, told me that I talked. So how ecstatic were you? What was the first reaction that you remember? I couldn't believe it at first. I, I couldn't believe it at all. And I, when I get to know that I talked in this exam, I was very happy. And <laughs> you were in seventh heaven. Mm. And how did your parents react? Obviously, we know that uh, they must be very happy but then we would like to recollect the moment my mother cried <laughs> when, so sweet uh, uh, when she heard news she ran from her workplace to her home and your father my father was not at home at the time mm -hmm. and my sister informed him of my news and he was very happy too. let us uh, have the opportunity to know the name of your proud parents my father's name is Roman Lashram and my mother's name is Lashram Jukarni Devi the whole of Manipur already know that your father is a newspaper hooker and your mother runs a very small hotel, right? Mm. They managed to fulfill all your expectations. So how glad you are to them, to your parents for being a big support to your achievements. I'm very grateful to my parents because they do not let me know about the financial problem. They manage all, everything related to my studies. You are right now the inspiration, a big inspiration to the students of Manipur. Mm. Let us know how was your time schedule? How are your study hours? Is it a preconceived notion that you should have a fixed study hour to achieve your aim? For me, I don't have a specific time duration. When I feel like studying, I study, but it's all about consistency and efficiency. I tend to study when I'm in the mood and free. When mm -hmm. you feel ready for it. Mm -hmm. You scored 493 out of 500. Mm -hmm. That makes it 98.6%. That was a very close take. By how many marks you managed to achieve the leap? The second topper, how many marks did she get and uh, what was the difference? It was a difference of two marks. Mm -hmm. uh, she scored 491. Mm -hmm. That was very close. Mm. So you feel very uh, lucky in yeah. that sense. <laughs> <laughs> so you scored 100 in Manipuri. Mm. That's 10%. And uh, after your completion of this examination, you wish to go to medical education. Mm. So how are your preparations for that? Preparing for neat exam. I'm planning on comet coaching. You your school is also Comet School, Changange. Mm. I think this is the right time to show your gratitude towards your teachers. I'm very grateful to all of my teachers of Comet School and all the board of directors. They are very friendly with me and they are an inspiration for me. They have a very special place in my heart. They have guided me and showed me the right path and helped me in preparing for this exam. Did the school always expect you that you will stand first in this exam for Manipur? Because they have believed in me. They have put their faith in me. And did you have the same expectation? I expected that I would be in a state merit list, but I did not expect it to be topper. <laughs> Lucky you are. Mm. And your hard work paid off. What are your hobbies and what do you like to do in your free time? I like dance. My dance. hobby is dancing. Oh. Okay, that's great. And other than dancing? I don't have any other. <laughs> <laughs> so you're pretty focused on mm. one thing, right? Mm. You said that you uh, prefer YouTube classes to uh, gather your mm -hmm. knowledge or get enlightened in whichever way you can take. This is kind of technological advancement that we are accepting. So what do you think uh, any uh, social environment, any scenario we can convert into a positive way, the negative impacts that it can have, we can convert it into a positive and fruitful way like you did. I guess students should use mobile phones uh, you know, effectively mm -hmm. and properly, judiciously because I think that excess of everything is dangerous and we should mm -hmm. use electrical gadgets that have techniques because we should not indulge in any other harmful that might have a negative impact on our studies. Excess of everything is bad. Mm. Be it festivals or law and order situation, is this an excuse to divert from your study? I'm active in social media as well. I'm also indulged in Thapal Chongba, Alai Haraoba. All uh, sorts of festivals. Uh, but this does not deter your determination uh, to perform well in uh, exams. Mm. It's up to the person, I think. Okay, you can use your time judiciously. It is also the right time to show 
owe the gratitude to your parents, your parents who have stood hard in their way to support you in any way they want? I want to say I love them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love them a lot and I hope I can live up to the expectation in the future as well. How many siblings do you have? I have three siblings and I'm the eldest one. Okay. And the other two, in which standard they are? My sister is in 10th standard and my brother is uh, in KG. Where do you wish to pursue your medical education? Uh, for now, I want to pursue my medical education in Manipur itself. So. Manipur mm-hmm. itself. Mm-hmm. Why is that so? And people like people aim to go outside and pursue their further studies. Is it you are too attached to Manipur and your parents? On top of that, I want to be an example that even if we do not go outside to study, to pursue uh, further education, we can still be successful. Amazing mindset. I must mm-hmm. uh, thank you for sharing your mindset on what people normally have a, a preconceived notion of going outside and studying to achieve their dreams. What are the advices that you would pass on to, you would convey to the you know, future students of Manipur? Know your potential, believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. If we don't believe in ourselves, who will believe in us? Mm-hmm. We should know our potential. We should have a goal in our life uh, and work hard to achieve that we should study consistently and it's all about efficiency you do not stick to 12 hour study or mm. 18 hour study a day mm. to reach your aim mm. thank you so much Malim mm. Ganbi for visiting us mm. and uh, gracing us inside a studio I hope all your dreams get fulfilled and uh, best of luck for your future thank you my name is Laisam Zugarani. How do you feel now that your daughter has stopped the COSEM examination 2024 for the entire state? I am very happy. We wish you that you are able to fulfill the dreams of all three children. Wish you all the best wishes for your future endeavors. I will try hard. Thank you. After traveling 42 kilometers from Akasvani station, I am here with Aina Naurem who topped the commerce stream. So how do you feel about being a topper in this particular year? I feel very happy and excited. I can express my feelings and I'm proud of myself. This type of exam, you need to manage your time very meticulously. How do you prepare yourself? I do not prepare any particular routine, but I used to have a strategies like when I have to study tomorrow, I plan for the subjects and lessons. I had to complete that lesson for tomorrow. I used to study regularly for a day. I used to read almost for two to three hours. Not more than that? No, there's not a particular time, but I used to read more than and that also for consistency and discipline I have to work sometimes I'll used to read for only two to three hours but for example I used to read for eight hours a day sometimes six hours I have to complete my lessons in that day so I used to read consistently and one thing is that it's hard to study or we have problems going on in the state which is still going on so how do you prepare yourself mentally that you have to study and you have to be a topper how do you motivate yourself I didn't study for being the topper but I study for my knowledge and I just have to complete my lessons I want to acquire the knowledge so I read them thoroughly for my knowledge mm-hmm. but I did not expect for the position holders okay. you did not expect to be a topper but you just study to get good marks yes. what are the challenges what are the difficulties that you face while preparing for this exam I have faced many problems financially mm-hmm. and mentally some of my friends also demotivate me like why did you take that commerce stream mm. you have gone to science mm. you can do that other subject other when they speak like that i also feel sometimes mm. demotivated but i have to study for myself right. understanding my parents problems and looking at my family i have to study work hard and i want to pursue my career in commerce stream so i work hard in this stream after you succeed being a topper in this commerce stream where do you see yourself, let's say, the next five years or next ten years? I want to become an SCCA and in the next five or six, seven years, I want to become an SCCA. And I can fulfill their dreams mm-hmm. and make my parents proud. And after becoming an SCCA, I also want to make proud myself for being a student of Manipur. One thing is, you are from a government institution and people expect a lot from private schools than uh, government schools. How do you manage yourself to be a topper from a government school, which is quite, what do you say, difficult 
to do so uh, nowadays? From being a government school, there is no such difficulties okay. from my side. I used to go to school regularly and like my teachers teach me and I used to practice myself in my home. Mm -hmm. We don't need that much private tuition. So there is no difference between being in private schools or in government schools according to your point? No, there is no difference. Government school students also can achieve that success like the private students. Thank you for that information also. To be a good student, you need to have a healthy environment and healthy diet as well. How do you manage in that field? Especially from your parents, from your relatives? What kind of help do you get regarding food, regarding studies? What are the nature of help that you get it from your family and friends? My family has supported me for my career okay. in food, my clothes, mm. my studies. Mm. They have supported me. Since I have not been living with my parents, mm. I have lived with my father's younger sister. Okay. She has lived with me till my ninth standard and she has taken care of me and supported me in every field. So I'm very grateful to her. Nowadays, especially children or students are preoccupied with mobile phones and this has negative as well as positive impact on their mind as well as in their part of studies. To your point of view, when you prepare your exams, how do you manage your time with mobile phones or smartphones? Yes, I also use mobile phones, but we have to take advantage of that opportunity. Sometimes I also use my mobile phone for watching dramas, but most of the time I use my mobile phone for my classes. I also took online classes from YouTube. There's also many professional teachers. I also take many notes and benefits from there. So it's also a very benefit platform in our career. What's your ultimate goal in the future? I want to become an SCCA. Well, what do you like, want to do with that for the society? Since our society is very backward in commerce stream, mm -hmm. I want to improve that. Most importantly, I want to become a successful woman, mm -hmm. okay. an independent woman, mm -hmm. and serve the society from my heart. Lastly, not the least, what messages or what kind of motivation would you like to give to the students, especially the younger ones who are preparing for exams like this? If we want to become a successful person, we need to work regularly and discipline is very important in our students' life. Work hard regularly. Aina, thank you so much for giving time in short notice and I hope you have a bright future. Thank you. We have in our studio Tokchom Shaitajit, who has topped the Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur 2024 in the art stream. He is with us inside our studio for a candid conversation. Welcome, Shaitajit. Thank you. And I feel very privileged to be a part of this program. Satyajit, first of all, very, very congratulations. Thank you. Is it still a dream that you are still dreaming? A very good and delightful dream. Yeah, of course. It was a dream for me to get position in the examination conducted by the council. And today, I materialized this dream. Uh, that's an amazing feeling indeed. I can feel for you. You have represented your school and you have met your school. Enlightened knowledge, higher secondary school, very proud. Yeah. How did your teachers uh, convey their congratulatory messages to you? They called me up and they congratulated me. They are very proud for me. I believe that they must be very happy. Yeah, they are very happy. How many hours did you devote for your normal study routine daily? I, I spent at least four hours study consistently mm -hmm. and around one and a half hours for just revision. Altogether, at least five to six hours daily I spent for study. Let our listeners know how many marks you secured in this examination. I secured 477 out of 500. My percentage is 95.4%. You stay at the school hostel. Yeah. So uh, when was it? When did you start uh, staying at the hostel? It was in May last year. Mm -hmm. that I got admitted in the hostel and mm -hmm. start preparing for the exam. How was your hostel stay? Can you share us any experiences that you feel very nostalgic about? Yeah, it was great. Uh -huh. It was a new world to me. It taught me a lot on how we can spend a great day, a great life in mm -hmm. the hostel. Mm -hmm. It was so unique and different. Your teachers were standing behind you 
every time when you need them. Yeah. Even the security staff were very supportive towards you. How would you show them your gratitude now? For this achievement, I want to express hmm. my gratitude wholly, mm-hmm. fully to them. Without the teachers, without the security members, without mm-hmm. the staffs, I would not be able to achieve this without them. They are very supportive, they are very friendly and always there for me. What uh, do your parents do for a living? My father run a grocery shop and my mother, she is currently working at the veterinary department in Pal. as an ldc father's name is tokjom nobochan and my mother's name is kirina through the various videos that we see through youtube on social media we come to know that your father is a rather humorous person he's kind of a funny go lucky type person very helpful very encouraging so how would you convey your gratitude to your parents especially your father who is sitting beside you inside a studio when we are talking to you i feel very proud of being his son he is very supportive and always there for me mm-hmm. in my need he is a great father if there's a next birth i would still prefer to be his son my father used to run to our hostel whenever i needed something he used to come and give me all my essentials that's so sweet to know how many siblings are you i have got only one younger sister she is in class 4 so nowadays our students have indeed broken the stereotype that you do not need prolonged study hours to reach a certain goal you as a topper have broken the stereotype as you mentioned that you devote at least 4 hours a day so it is consistency that has won the game for you you have a strategic mindset to materialize your dream that is indeed a wonderful experience to listen from you satyajit you father mentioned that you did not manage to secure a rank in the merit list of your 10th examination yeah. well do you regret uh, the result uh, the efforts that you put in i didn't feel regret for that mm-hmm. i i lack something mm. so i was not able to be among the position holders which i have made up for this time by okay. securing the highest position well congratulations to you thank you ma'am for materializing your dreams what do you like to do in your past time what are your hobbies and interests well apart from studies i have my interest in exploring the cultures of different tribes of india i have the curiosity to know more about our maitai culture and literature I love music too. Music as in you like singing. Yeah, singing. So can you uh, hum a line or two from one of your favorite songs that you usually hum? When I used to listen to radio, music and TVs since my childhood. From there I developed my interest in music. Besides my family members, mm-hmm. there my mom, my grandma, they were singers. <laughs> okay. So the blood got carried into you. Yeah, it got. Yeah, that's genes hereditary. Yeah. So would you please hum a line no two from one of your favorite songs banglaganu pukning how khare matam pamlaganu laite mayagi shaklon Well, that was a very um, <laughs> a shocking thing to know because I was expecting some sort of modern songs from <laughs> you, but then uh, you have the affinity to incline more into folk music. Yeah. Well, heads off to you. So now that you have passed your twelfth, what are your future plans? It is my dream to get admitted in the Delhi University and take history on us. Well, best wishes for that. I suppose you are giving your CUET exam for that as well. Yeah, I want to be a civil servant like an IAS officer, mm-hmm. IPS officer. Well, Well, that's a very big dream and i hope you achieve uh, it very soon down the line we have great hopes from you so that you can lead our state from the front best of luck thank be- you. and best wishes for your future endeavors let all your dreams be fulfilled thank you so much for gracing us with your presence inside our studio thank you ma'am Please share your feeling now that your son has topped the Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur exam 2024 in the art stream. I am very happy and I feel proud of him. Uh-huh. I am also happy that my son has got first position in the council examination. My efforts have paid off. Well, congratulations to you as well for your son. Thank you ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you.